Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here to announce a big, big launch. Today at Hexagon Live, we have the BLK 360. I've got the old one and I've also got the new one. And fortunately, I've got Phil here from the UK who's actually going to explain the difference between the old one and the new one. You can see size-wise, there's a bit of a difference, Phil. So let's start with that. Yep. It's a bit smaller, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so we've reduced the size. It's now 20% smaller and reduced the weight. So obviously it's portable as it is, but it's even more portable now, even more accessible. I can feel that. There's yep. a big difference in the two. Yep. What else has happened? It's really fast, this one. I know this one's good, but this one's faster, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so we've upgraded it to 680,000 points per second. Yeah. Uh, it's now got five bracket HDR, so we've improved the images, improves the colour density of the images. It can store more data, so it's efficient and, and accurate on site. It's about 180 gig or something like that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's 180 gig capacity, yeah. yeah. So well, that probably equates to like 80 scans or something like that on site, which is, which is more than enough. It's uh, massive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And you can see the camera camera array here yeah. folks, we'll get a closer view of that. That gives you a lot more definition, doesn't it? Yeah, so like I said, we've upgraded the image quality, so it's now five bracket HDR, but those cameras actually double up as the visual inertial system. Right, so a visual inertial system. I'm sorry, Phil, yeah. you've got to explain what a visual inertial system is right, to a yeah. layman like me. What, what does it actually mean? Okay, so that's a phase for sure, but what does that mean? It tracks its position live on site in a, in a 3D reality capture world. Okay. So obviously you can scan from position A, you can move around the site, and it's tracking its position in real time. Right, so you can real time scan yeah. and get all of that information here. Yeah. And because it's smaller and it's lighter, yeah. I'm guessing that you know I can probably put that in a backpack with a tripod, and I'm I'm not having to move around carrying heavy heavy yeah, weights so or anything like that. It all comes in an efficient mission bag, as we call it. So yeah, okay. it's quite easy for for everyone to have on site to capture yeah spatial data. And so what would I actually use this for? What kind of tasks would I use this for? So this is disruptive technology, so it's going to drive us into new markets. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people capturing data anyway, but we're, you know, we're looking at new markets with this product, as well as existing customers. Well, I talk to people that are scanning ships, uh, yep. that are scanning uh, really modern houses, but also that are scanning monuments and things like that. And I've talked to people that are also looking at how they can use things like this in the realtor market. So the BRK to go yep. is a great thing for that. This. Uh, is another thing that you can use within those different sectors that yeah, people course, never yeah. thought of. Yeah, uh, even visual effects and entertainment media. Obviously, the metaverse is a big is a big topic of discussion. So you know that could drive us into the metaverse. So we could create our own Hexagon Live with this in the metaverse with Phil. Phil, what's uh, what kind of people are going to be buying this in the UK, and uh, when is it available? Uh, it's available from the 28th of uh, June, so this month, uh, and hopefully lots of people. You know, everywhere from architects, engineers, surveyors, people in entertainment and media, process plants. So yeah, drivers into a lot of new markets. So Phil, you're going to keep me updated with one yeah. of this. But also, folks, I'm going to be talking to one of the leading surveyors in the UK whilst I'm here at Hexagon Live to get his impression of the new technology as an end user. So folks, I'm going to put this one down. It's a bit heavy, but this one's quite light. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Phil.